Okay, this is problem 8.9. It says, for each of the given functions, y equals f of x, simplify the following expression so that h is no longer a factor in the denominator, then calculate the result of setting h equals 0. So I want to make sure that h isn't a factor in the denominator. So part a says f of x equals 1 over x minus 1. So first we need to figure out what f of x plus h is. So just simplify or substitute in x plus h, everywhere we see an x, so x plus h minus 1. Now I know what f of x is, and I know what f of x plus h is. And now I can operate the difference quotient. So I have 1 over quantity x plus h minus 1, minus 1 over x minus 1, all over h. That's f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So I need to get h out of the denominator. So let me go ahead and work on the numerator and add these two together. So I need to get common denominators. <clears throat> so I'm going to multiply this one with x minus 1 over x minus 1. And this one I'm going to multiply with x plus h minus 1 and x plus h minus 1. So then I have x minus 1 over x minus 1 times x plus h minus 1 minus x plus h minus 1 over x minus 1 times x plus h minus 1 all divided by h. So I can simplify in the numerator here. I have x minus 1 minus x minus h plus 1 all over x minus 1 times x plus h minus 1 all over h. And so I can go ahead and do some more simplification. I have x minus x. That's going to go away. I have negative 1 plus 1. And so ultimately, I have negative h over x minus 1 times x plus h minus 1, all divided by h, which means I need to take the numerator and multiply it by the reciprocal of h, which is 1 over h. So I have negative h over x minus 1 times x plus h minus 1 times 1 over h. Well, I can factor, cancel that common factor. I'm left with negative 1 over x minus 1 times x plus h minus 1. And now h is no longer a factor in the denominator. h is an add-end here, but not a factor. And so now I can calculate this with h equal to 0. And if h is equal to 0, then I have negative 1 over x minus 1 times x minus 1 which is negative 1 over x squared minus 2x plus 1.